Hi, this is a demonstration of the Android phone theft security with the GPS tracking project. So, this is a system that uh, helps you track your phone if uh, it has been stolen and uh, also sends the GPS coordinates when it detects uh, that the phone has been stolen. There are two ways to, uh, you know, detect that. So, whenever the phone is stolen, you can just uh, go online and uh, report on this system that your phone is stolen and the system uh, constantly check uh, as soon as your phone is restarted and on restart it sends the GPS location of the phone or if the sim card has been changed it will still send the GPS location of the phone on the online system and you can uh, the user can easily uh, track his phone through uh, the GPS coordinates so let's see how the system works here we have an Android application so we need to open this so this is the first time uh, which I'm opening the application so I need to register myself by providing the name email ID phone number and the alternate number and the password uh, so if uh, any other SIM has been inserted in this particular phone then uh, a message will be sent to that uh, alternate number regarding its uh, phone number and uh, SIM card number of that new sim so let's uh, register with the system I'll provide my name so let's say as user1 my email id is abc1 at gmail.com so I'll enter my phone number numbers and then alternate number and then password which I would like to set so let's say this is my password and I will say submit so this will send the data on the online server and you can access uh, your web application using your same email id and this particular password so let's uh, close this uh, app and let's uh, reopen it so if you again click on anti theft you can see that it says same and it says uh, welcome your username uh, so if your uh, sim card is same which you had registered so it will uh, say same or it will say message sent successful if uh, sim card was changed and uh, you can see that it says welcome user so if your phone has been not triggered it will say welcome user and your name so let's close this so let's uh, go to the web application and log in with the same credentials so let's uh, log in with web application so i'll provide my id as abc1 at the gmail and my password and i'll say login so after a successful login you can see that uh, you have a uh, few options over here which says uh, lost phone view pictures view location and log out uh, so in lost phone you can trigger your phone uh, if it is lost or you can again uh, discard the trigger by pressing phone found so let's uh, click on lost phone and you can see that it says status updated so if you open your application again or if uh, someone restarts your phone uh, this application will be triggered so let's open that and you can see that it says same but uh, this time it has uh, opened the camera so next we need to press a submit and start the location let's submit and you can see that it's uh, sending location of your phone so the coordinates would be sent again and again to the server so let's uh, look at uh, view picture module in web application so here we have the time and the date and if you click on view image you can get the image which uh, has been clicked on your phone and next we have is view location so if you go to view location and click on view location and you can see that it has opened the map and it's uh, pointing to the location where your phone was found so 
you can just zoom in and locate that particular area and you can inform the police or the authorized person and you can get your phone back so let's say if your phone is found you need to again go back to the lost phone module and click on phone found and its status would be updated so if uh, next time your application reopens uh, it won't uh, send the location or image so let's close the mobile application and then reopen it so if I click on my app you can see that it has shown us welcome user again and so it's not sending location anymore so this is how the system works thank you